Now let's see this concept context sensitive language and context sensitive grammar. A context sensitive grammar is represented by G. It contains mainly four tuples V comma T comma P comma S. Yes. Just like regular grammar and context free grammar. Here also we have four tuples where V is a set of variables which can also be called as non terminals. The variables or non terminals are represented by uppercase letters. T means set of terminal symbols. Terminals are represented by lowercase alphabets or we can use digits from 0 to 9 or we can use uh, combinations of digits, some numbers 10, 20, 30 likewise also. Or terminals mean symbols also, plus, minus, star likewise. P means a set of production rules. S means starting symbol. Here, the productions of the form alpha implies beta. Alpha means left hand side production. Beta means right hand side production. Here the productions contains a combinations of variables and terminals. Variables and terminals. Uh, here alpha. Here alpha means left hand side production. Left hand side should contain minimum one non-terminal. Left hand side should contain minimum one non-terminal. Okay. And right hand side should not contain epsilon. Right hand side should not contain epsilon. So that's why here we have written plus. That's why here we have written plus. So star means any number of occurrences including zero occurrences also. Whereas plus means minimum one occurrence. Okay. So here alpha and beta are a combination of variables and uh, uh, terminals. But uh, we have two conditions. Alpha, that means left hand side production should contain minimum one non terminal. So left hand, should, left hand side production should not be like this. A implies B. Why? Because here left hand side production is a terminal symbol. Uh, we have a production like this A, A. Okay. And left hand side production and right hand side production should not contain epsilon. Okay. And what is the second condition? For beta, the condition is. Uh, the right hand side production that is beta should not contain epsilon. So that's why here we have written plus. So plus means minimum one occurrence. So left hand side should contain minimum one non terminal as well as left hand side should not contain epsilon. Next right hand side should not contain any epsilon. Okay. Uh, let us see some examples here and we need to follow one more condition. Here mod alpha is less than or equal to mod beta. Mod alpha is less than or equal to mod beta. So mod means length of the string, length of the alpha. So length of the left hand side production should be less than or equals to length of the right hand side production. Okay. Uh, let us take some examples. Uh, let me have a production like this. A implies B. Is it a context sensitive grammar? No. Why? Because context sensitive grammar means left hand side should be a non terminal. Left hand side should contain minimum one non terminal. But here we have only, but here we don't have any non terminal. That's why this is not a context sensitive grammar. Next, A implies epsilon. Is it a context sensitive grammar? No. Why? Because right hand side or left hand side should not contain epsilon. But here we have epsilon. Okay. So this is not a context sensitive grammar. A implies A implies B. Is it a context sensitive grammar? Is this production is in CSC? Yes. Why? Because uh, left hand side contains combinations of terminals and non terminals. And what is mod alpha? Mod alpha means 2. Whereas mod B means 1. 2. So 2 is less than or equal to 1. 2 is less than or equal to 1. Condition is false. So this production is not in not in CSC. Okay. So if we want to make this as CSC, then uh, let us add some more productions, A, B, A. So is this production is in CSC? Yes. Why? Because uh, length of alpha is 2, whereas length of beta is 3. So 2 is less than 3. The condition is true. So this is also in, this production is also in CSC. Why? Because length of the left hand side production is 2, length of the right hand side production is 2. Okay. Next. Is this production is in CSC? No. Why? Because the length of this uh, left hand side one is 3. 
where he has the length of the right, right hand side one is 2. So 3 is less than or equal to 2. False. Okay. Now let's see what is context sensitive language. Context sensitive language means that language is generated by the context sensitive grammar. So grammar means we have a set of productions. We have a set of productions. Uh, likewise, uh, uh, we can have set of productions. So based on these productions, if we generate a language, then that language is called as the context sensitive language. So it is a language which is generated by the context sensitive grammar. And the context sensitive grammar is accepted by linear bounded automata. Is accepted by linear bounded automata. It is a, an automata like uh, we have uh, finite automata, push door automata. Regular grammar is accepted by finite automata. Context free grammar is accepted by push door automata. Likewise, context sensitive grammar is accepted by linear bounded automata. Linear bounded automata. So, this is about what is a context sensitive language, what is context sensitive grammar, and what is linear bounded automata. We will discuss more about linear bounded automata in the upcoming classes.